welcome back. Raj was just telling me off camera that it's raining. I can kind of tell, you know, some raindrops are falling there. Look Raj, what are you that. doing outside? <laughs> I'm right outside the hotel. So I'm okay. I'm in a safe zone and I can be here for 15 minutes and I got to get back inside. But did you just want to enjoy the rain or what's what's going on? Why are you outside? Uh, well, I mean, honestly, in a quarantine situation, you got to get out. I mean, for mental health, we're, we're kind of isolated in the hotel room or the studio. So when we're allowed these 15 minute breaks, I just go outside. I just walk around, hang out, get fresh air. It's uh, it, it's it's a must. You're right. You're right. You do have to get out and take some some air, but also some sunlight, even though there's it's cloudy, you're still getting that sunlight. But listen, today is episode 10. Raj is in Tokyo covering the Olympics. And I thought we have a lot of cute stuff planned for today. So you're going to have a, a blast. But let's start <laughs> off with the obvious, with the huge news. Suni Lee getting that gold. It was fantastic. Here you posted on Facebook, you know, the family's reaction back home in Minnesota. I mean, Raj, everyone was talking about it in Tokyo, huh? This is it. This is, I mean, everyone's talking about it in Minnesota, where she's from. Everyone's talking about it in Northern California, where there's a huge Hmong community. I love this story. And I think I speak for a lot of people. Uh, the first Hmong woman in the Olympics, uh, the first Asian American to win the all around individual. I mean, just, it, it goes on and on. And the reaction from her family, Suni Lee said she's 18 years old. And this is what, how we all fell in love with Simone Biles in the Rio Olympics, winning this event. This is the big enchilada. This is it. And for her to win this is just so awesome. She said she almost quit uh, pre-pandemic or during the pandemic because of what we were talking about, the isolation. Yeah. She went through injuries, the isolation. She, she said she almost gave it all up. Uh, the family didn't have a lot of money uh, for a balance beam at home. They couldn't afford it. So they, the dad just built his own one. Yeah. I mean, it's just, ah, oh, man, I, I just love the story. And, and she's know. such a just great representative, Abby, of what America is all about. It, it's, Absolutely. It's awesome. She is just wonderful, so sweet, so talented, so everything that, you know, I don't have kids, but I'd imagine if I had kids, I'd love for them to see, you know, her and look up to her. She's just the perfect example. And so she did a fantastic job. Congratulations to her, obviously. But going back to that episode 10, I thought, I, I saw this on your Instagram stories. Oh, Raj. no. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> so this is the, the, fa the famous photo. It's gone viral at this point. Everyone is posting about it. And you uh, threw it back because it was thirsty for you yesterday. It's thirsty for me today. So I thought, in honor of this fantastic photo there with your wonderful hair, I thought, why don't we look back at all the Olympics you've covered? Oh, and as I'm playing no. this slideshow, <laughs> you're going to okay, tell me where, me where you were. All right, let's, okay. let's play it here. All right, where were you at there? That is Athens, I believe, 2004. That is Torino, Italy, 2006, with my colleague Diane Dwyer. Uh, back to Athens, TJ Holmes, who's now with... Uh, ABC, Good Morning America, and there it is. And Abby, this was all you. This is Salt Lake City 2002. Uh, and that I believe, oh gosh, now I'm forgetting. These are so long ago. This uh, is the London this is one. London. I know that for yep. sure. That is London 2012. And that is Vancouver 2010. Wow. So you can see the hair getting a little more gray and less of the hair. Here we are in Tokyo. And you know who's to blame for all this? You, Abby, because you posted that first photo of Salt Lake City. So I love it. Everyone love it. loved it. <laughs> Everyone loved it. They were obsessed. They were like, oh my gosh, I watched the episode because of the thumbnail. I was like, fantastic. Oh my God. Um, that went by fast. But oh my gosh, you've done so many. Ross, you got to tell me which one has been your favorite. Uh, London 2012. Uh, just because it was so well organized. It was so fun. It was a city that's so electric. Um, the language barrier, obviously it's English, so it, it wasn't uh, a Makes barrier sense. at all. But that, again, I don't mind that. This was supposed to be that. Tokyo was supposed to rival London, if not even better than London. Unfortunately, we're in this quarantine and lockdown. Um, so I would still say Tokyo. I mean, talk to me in a week. This still might be my favorite. I know. <laughs> because the city, the city is so awesome. You know, it, it's, it's really a magical city. That's true. I got to give you some more time out there before I ask you. Um, all right, that was fun. Our little throwback yeah. for today. <laughs> I want to do you. Abby throwback next episode. Episode 11. I want to dig up some Jesus. stuff from Texas and L.A. and all your, all your stops. <laughs> but you look fantastic, so that's a good thing. I, on the other hand, do not. So let's not even no, go there, Rosh. But 
Um, but I wanted to also bring this up. So you didn't post this, but I know you're with Mikey Bang. He's our photographer. Mikey posted this on his Facebook and it caught my attention. So this is you and Mikey there, by the way, for people that don't know um, him. He's our photographer, like I said, but he posted this photo and it looks like he's eating in his hotel room, but he has a glove on, a plastic glove on. Is this is this protocol or is this just Mikey? This is <laughs> No, no, this is NBC protocol. When we go get our food, we have a wonderful NBC lunchroom, dinner room, uh, great food. But to get our food, we all have to put on gloves. And then when we actually sit down and eat, we can then take off our gloves. So Mikey was about to eat in that shot. And I got to say with Mikey, he is Hmong. And he was very emotional watching Suni Lee win. So uh, he's going to be part of my coverage today when we go on TV for NBC. Uh, just to yeah, say, look, yeah. this this hits a lot of people, but especially the Hmong community. So he watched last night, and I think he probably had some private moments where he went away and you know shed some tears. I it, it's really incredible story with the gym. It's just a beautiful story. Yeah, I saw some of Mikey's posts, and he was going crazy on social as he should because it's just <laughs> a fantastic story. But listen, Raj, I won't keep you any longer outside because you're drenched now <laughs> in all this rain. But it's good. It's good that you're you're staying out there. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? Bye, Abby. Thank you. Bye, Raj. Take it easy.